Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, December 15th, 2019, and we have a big, big week ahead starting tomorrow, and we're going to cover a bunch of things. This is going to be interactive today, um, but let's start off with why I believe this week is going to be, <laughs> in the words of... Uh, someone else. Uh, tremendous. Fantastic. Here we go. We understand, and I did a whole video about this just yesterday, there is this, I'm almost reluctant to say, deal in principle, which has been floated out here uh, simply to cause stocks to move higher. Now, the propaganda has already started. I want to read this to you and I'm going to place a link to this article in the description of this video and in the comment section if you want to read it. Now, this came out yesterday. This is Steve Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary for the United States. This is what he said, historic phase one deal with China will be very good for global growth. That's a quote. Now, again, this is what I said. This is exactly the type of propaganda that will fill the airwaves. Believe me, this is, this is just one story floated out. We're going to hear a lot more of it. There is no deal. The President of the United States does not even know how much purchases China will make. He said he thinks $50 billion, Okay, Nothing is in writing. Nothing will be signed until at least mid-January. But, but... The propaganda is going to get really big, um, and this is going to push stocks higher. Again, and I said this le before last week, I said last week we were going to hit record highs in the stock market. I was correct. We, were, we are going to get new record highs in this market this week. Tomorrow, Tuesday, they're coming, barring a black swan event. Now, this means several things. As far as I'm concerned, and I am certain you will agree with me on this, the fact that every effort you can think of right now, and it's, com it's completely fake, it's propaganda, the market has been propagandized, will assure the risk on trade remains. Risk on means what? Cash into the stock market, suppressed rates. The Federal Reserve is about to go beyond hypernuclear with regard to the debt market. More cash into the debt market will suppress rates. Again, banks are getting recapitalized. Uh, and, and again, the propaganda alone is enough to keep stocks moving higher. So risk on. That means... Certain assets are on sale, and I mean on freaking sale. Gold, silver, platinum, palladium, I own all of them, you know that, and cryptocurrencies. These assets are on sale. What does that mean? Load up, okay? Look, it's so simple. We know it's risk on. So what does that mean? We should be looking at risk off. Because everything is on sale right now, and stocks are going to go up. And let me let you in on a little clue here. Crude oil hit 60 bucks last week. That's going higher, much higher, okay? All of these assets I just named, are they going to waver around a little bit because it's a random walk with an upward drift? Of course, of course they are, okay? You know that. But the trajectory for stocks, higher. Crude oil, higher. Period. The end. You know what to do. And with regard to suppressed assets, gold, silver, silver. All right. Let's let's stick to silver for a second. And I will say this again for the billionth time: physical silver is 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 the most undervalued asset on the planet, bar none. Okay. I love all the metals. Um, I love hard assets. You all know that. But silver is it. Silver is it. Um, truly, and again, I think, in my opinion, and I know I'm going to get attacked for it, my opinion, cryptocurrencies are massively 
massively undervalued too in this environment. Look, what can we expect? The Fed is going to go beyond hypernuclear. The banks are getting recapitalized. The Fed is buying every single part of the yield curve. It's perpetual. The repo scam is going to get much, much bigger. What does that mean? That means they're going to have to add digits to a screen in epic amounts of dollars because the Fed is determined to melt the dollar. Okay, that's, that's an issue more debt. I mean, that's their goal. The goal of the, our bought and paid for government and the Federal Reserve who are working in tandem is to allow the Federal Reserve to issue more debt. And we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing, people. And this is a phenomenon that is global. Global. Okay, it's going around the freaking world. All the central banks working in concert with their respective governments. The central banks are the governments. The military industrial complex for which crude oil is the lifeblood will prop that up. It's so simple. It is, it gets me like hyper when I think about how easy it is to destroy this market from every single freaking angle. Now, with that said, we are going to move on to the next phase of this video blog. I want you to open up a new window and go to my website, traderschoice.net. We're going to do a couple of things here that's important. I'm going to share a couple of my favorite stock picks with you here. Uh, and we're going, to, we're going to look at a couple of charts together. So, traderschoice.net, there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, and there's also one in the comments section. I'll wait to open up a new window, okay? Traderschoice.net, open it up. All right. I'm going to do the same. I am on my website right now, all right? What I want you to do first, scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page. All the way down. Go, 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 go. Here, below 100% free stock screener. I want you to look at Apple and Microsoft. Okay? I rarely do this. However, I did explain to you, I don't know how many months ago, that you should be buying Apple stock. If you listen to me, you made a freaking fortune. I am still calling Apple a super buy. Now, if you look just under that, you see Microsoft. Microsoft, another one. Um, in my opinion, Apple and Microsoft are the stocks to buy now. Now. Um, period, the end. And you could scroll down on this. There's Google has a buy recommendation. Uh, you, you know, just keep going down here. Walmart's a strong buy. I like Walmart too. Um, anyway, but for today, my top two stock picks, right in your face here, you got Apple and you got Microsoft. Now, I want you to go to the chart right above this. This is the one, two, three, boom system. I don't care if you can't read charts, let's look to the right where it says details, okay? If you notice, SPY, this is the exchange traded fund or the ETF that follows the S&P 500. I trade this, this is what I trade exclusively okay this is my I, I'm, I'm a day trader now an intraday trader uh, I bounce in and out of SPY all day long now if you look we got a buy recommendation you could change the timing on this now you see where it says SPY in the upper left hand corner click on where it says one hour click on one hour we got a buy click on 30 minutes there's nothing is changing here it's a buy now I want you to do a couple of other things here. We're going to put in USO, enter, uh, United States Oil Fund. I mean, this is a screaming buy as well. Do you see what I'm talking about here? Now, if you want to go over my last two stock picks for you, put in Apple, AAPL, enter. What do we got? We got a buy. Let's do Microsoft, MSFT, boom. We got a buy here too. All right, utilize my website now with regard to my website after the new year this is all going to be redone my stock screener will still be here my one two three boom system will be here you want to learn how to use the boom system look above this chart one two three boom system tips click here you know what let's click on that together what fun okay click on that what do we see oh you see my lovely face not so lovely but i'm there anyway and it explains to you how to use it or right, let's close that for now so look, 
Let us summarize here. Expect the propaganda with regard to the deal that is not the deal that isn't because it isn't to hit extreme heights. You can probably expect more of this pre-market uh, during the day, and this is going to push stocks higher. The lies must get larger. You know that. I've explained this to you since time and freaking memorial, and it's, it's playing out exactly like I said. So, uh, this is extremely bullish for the stock market. Uh, you are going to see bond yields drop. The entire yield curve is going to flatten out. That's the Fed. The Fed is buying the entire yield curve, artificially suppressing rates. This is a mechanism. I explained this to you before it happened. So cash will move into the stock market, henceforth why? We're getting record high, record high, record high. It's a distraction. Our economy is in free fall, and it will remain that way. Assets like gold, silver, platinum, palladium, cryptocurrencies are on sale, and crude oil is going up, okay? Higher. What else is there to say? This guy loves you from the heart. I mean that. I am trying my hardest to put a perspective on this for you so you can understand what is going on uh, and how to, how to take advantage of this. You're not going to lose. You will not lose on my watch. You know, most of you know this already, but I want to share this with you. This year, three major Wall Street banks, investment banks, wanted to hire this guy. I turned them all down. Uh, I will never work for a Wall Street bank. I have no interest in working for a Wall Street bank. I want to be out here. I don't want anyone to tell me what I can't do or what I'm supposed to do. I'm here for all of you. That's the truth. I don't need to do this blog. I do it because I care. I do it because we are a team. I am the lion. You are all part of my pride. And again, I love all of you. Please share this video. Let's get it out there. Let's build our pride larger. There is strength in numbers. With that, once we get more people on our team, we are going to do something else. Um, uh, we'll talk about that down the line. I will see all of you in the morning.